Hello everyone, welcome to Solution Bringers. This video is going to be quite different but informative. We all know that science can sometimes be very boring, but not knowing this will make us more vulnerable both physically and mentally. So here I am trying to spread some knowledge about microbiology where we will learn some new faces around us that we cannot see with our naked eyes. So in this video, we are going to talk about some pathogenic bacteria. Well, bacteria is a term that we talk in some intellectual conversations almost every day in our life. But uh, do you know that 95% of the bacteria is actually good? Well, the other 5% are not so good, which causes disease. And those bacteria, the other 5% are known as pathogenic bacteria. So let's not waste any more time and jump into the world of learning bacteria. Uh, one is Actinomyces israelii. We can find this bacteria in the oral cavity, which we sometimes call, call oral flora as well. This bacteria causes actinomycosis, which results in fever and some symptoms of lung infection. There is also painful abscesses internally. We will see what abscesses are in the next page. And in the right, uh, we can see that there are some rod-shaped structures which we actually call, which, which is actually Actinomyces israelii. Here is what Actinomycosis looks like. You can see the spot in the face, then in the spot in the chest wall uh, in the bottom picture. We can see the abscess and uh, the part that is inside our skin, the yellow part, which is called pus. All right. And as we all know this, actually, uh, when pus gets out, there's like uh, swelling on the skin and it causes some pain as well. So these things are known as abscesses. And uh, this is what happens when you have actinomycosis. So, the next one is Bacillus anthracis. Mm. We all have eaten sauces, I know. And this particular species resembles a structure like sausage. And thus, we call this one rot shaped. This bacteria again can get inside us when we get in physical contact with cows, sheep, and horses. I believe you all have heard a disease called anthrax. If not, then let me aware you, anthrax is a disease which causes breaking skin by making it cutaneous, which means hardening it, not only outside, also it hardens the inside of our gut too. This is what anthrax is and this is what bacillus anthracis do to you, not only outside but inside too. So keeping yourself sanitized is really not good enough. It is good, but not enough. Keep your cattle sanitized too to keep this one away because this one is very dangerous and staying secure is the best option. Well, this one is Bacteroides regulus. This species is rot shaped like we have seen in our capsule medicines. The home of this one is inside our small intestine. This Bacteroides regulus can cause infections which can result in abscesses inside gastrointestinal tract, abdomen and lungs too. Can you see that yellow part uh, on the small intestine? Well, that yellow part is the abscess given by Bacteroides regulus and it is really very painful. This one is Bordetella pertussis. This one resides around the air cavity and it spreads when a person carrying this species sneezes or coughs. We can see this round shaped, coccus shaped bacteria in the picture. The symptoms are very painful too. It's whooping cough. And if you do not take proper antibiotics on time under physician's prescription, 
this can result in secondary bacterial pneumonia, which is your lung will fill with pus. We can see in the picture how the bacteria is attacking the lung and how the kid is doing some whooping cough. Mmm, this one reminds me of a favorite food, burger. But the species is not that pleasant as its name sounds. Borrelia burgdorferi. There are some insects which we see sometimes in our habitat called ticks. The bite of those ticks can give you this infection. Borrelia burgdorferi also lives in mice and other small mammals. We can see how the species looks like. It is a spiral shaped. So Borrelia burgdorferi causes Lyme disease. The typical symptoms of Lyme disease include fever, headache, getting tired very frequently, and also some weird skin rash which we call erythema migrans. So this one is called Campylobacter jejuni. This spiral shell bacteria can enter our body from animal species. Uncooked meat and contaminated water are also some good source of this species. Campylobacter jejuni causes enteritis and a very rare disease called Guillain-Barre syndrome. Enteritis is a very suffering condition where there is inflammation inside our small intestine and Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rare disease where our immune system attacks our own nerve. Primary symptoms are feeling weak and frequent tingling and if not treated on time can result in high blood pressure and breathing difficulties too. Chlamydia pneumoniae this sphere shaped bacteria is transmitted from droplet of patient coming out while they sneeze or cough. We can see the picture of sphere shift at the right of the slide. This bacteria causes atypical pneumonia where the air sac of lungs become small, which results in blood discharge when patients cough. Further suffocation occurs due to breathlessness following all symptoms when we lack oxygen while inhalation. So this one is quite dangerous I see. This one is called Chlamydia trachomatis. This spare shelf bacteria is transmitted when you have sexual intercourse with an infected partner. It can be found around vaginal or anal tract. Newborn babies sometimes also get infected while birth. Chlamydia trachomatis can also be carried by flies. Well, it is not a lethal one but can cause several complications such as trachoma. Trachoma is a pain in the eyes with swelling eyelids. Then conjunctivitis. It is mainly a white jelly like dirt coming out of eyes more than usual. Then the next one is urethritis in men, which is extreme pain in the urethra inside the penis. Then burning sensation in abdomen, epididymitis, and prostatitis, which is pain in epididymis and prostate in male reproductive organs. Chlamydophila cetaceae. This is a sphere shaped bacteria and a very important one for the knowledge of parrot owners. When a person gets close to the parrot or the cage and inhales any body secretions such as species or sometimes even feathers, which can cause the transmission. This Chlamydophila cetaceae can cause cetacosis. Well, the primary symptoms are fever and diarrhea for a few days, which is not really that lethal. However, rarely cetacosis can also be fatal if not diagnosed at early as possible after exposure.
let's be cautious and start wearing disposable masks around parrot for prevention because prevention is always better than cure. The next one is Clostridium botulinum. They live in soil, canned foods, and even in pure honey sometimes. We can get exposed by this bacteria when we eat those contaminated food or we inhale some dust. Let's see what it does. This Clostridium botulinum is the causative agent of a disease known as botulism. Here in this picture is a 14 years old boy affected by the disease botulism where the eye muscles are so weak that he is even unable to open eyes. It is a rare and serious illness caused by bacterial toxin which attacks the body's nerves and causes breathing difficulty, muscle paralysis and even death. The next one is Clostridium difficile. This is a rod shaped bacteria with some villainous hair on it, as we can see in the picture. They are found in the intestine due to entrance of contaminated food, of course. The difficile infection looks like this. This is called pseudomembranous colitis an extremely inflammating condition on the internal wall of large intestine, sometimes even pus and bleeding inside the large intestine occurs due to this thing. Clostridium perfringens. This species is a rod-shaped bacteria and are found in soil, so technically it travels with dust. They are also found around vaginal and intestinal tract. Perfringens is a species which causes cellulitis, where we can see skins are getting distorted. I must say this is a very painful situation where you are seeing your external part of the body is getting damaged. This one is Clostridium tetany. They are present in soil and can enter into the bloodstream with the help of dusty air. This bacteria is rot shaped. Clostridium tetany causes tetanus, a very common disease. Remember that when we were children and we used to get injections of antibiotic for causing wound in dust while playing outdoor? Well, that's because. Uh, the, because of this particular guest. Tetanus is a disease where the toxin released by tetany causes painful muscle contractions. It is also called lock jaw as it often causes a person's neck and jaw muscles to lock which makes it hard to open mouth or swallow. Lastly, Cornibacterium diphtheriae. This club-shaped bacteria can be transmitted from droplets of the infected ones sneezing or coughing. Cornibacterium diphtheriae causes diphtheria. The symptoms of diphtheria is fever, sore throat, neck swelling, and narrow airways. We can see in the picture what is happening when a person is infected with this diphtheria disease. And finally, we came to the end of the video. That's all the pathogenic bacteria whose name starts with the alphabet A, B, and C. There are more pathogenic bacteria which we will be learning in our upcoming videos. Please subscribe and share these videos because we only know what we know when you need to know. But these microorganisms you can only know if you try to. Thank you all for staying with Solution Bringers.